Hey, how you doing? How are you? I'm not as good as you, Mr. All Pro. 159 tackles, sixth overall in the entire NFL. What makes this season so special for you? Why is it working? I feel like, um, you know, honestly, just my confidence is a lot different. I feel like last year, kind of getting my feet wet a little bit and, um, you know, starting like the last half games and um, just, just kind of getting that feeling that, you know, I can play at this level. You know, I can play at a high level at this level as well. And he is buried. TJ Edwards, one of the linchpins of this Eagles defense crazy to hear you say like I can play in this league like you are you're one of the best players in this league you're an all pro you are getting yeah. notice from everybody even the butt kiss foundation like that is no joke and I'm looking at the other guys who are up for the award right the nominees it's mm -hmm. Nick Bolton it's CJ Mosley it's Fred Warner it's Bobby <laughs> Wagner it's Rob yeah. Smith who just got the back like these are elite names but they're also high draft picks you being undrafted, like, how did everybody F up so badly? How did everybody get yeah. it wrong? Yeah, let me tell you, they get they get caught up in those analytics, I think, at times. Uh -huh. But to me, it didn't really matter if I, you know, went super high or went super low. I just wanted an opportunity. And, um, you know, it was, uh, you know, it was a tough weekend, I think, for more so my family, you know, uh -huh. just expecting all these things. And um, But it, it's just been an amazing ride. And I wouldn't want it to go any, way, any other way, to be honest with you. What motivates you? I just think that that drive just I want I just want so much more um, just uh, I want you know everyone to be able to trust me and uh, which I think I'm starting to slowly get but I think just me being out there and, and being the green dot from the start and being the guy that uh, is communicating every single play I think that helps a lot. And, What's it like having to practice against this offense with animals like Jason Kelsey and Lane Johnson when he's healthy and then AJ and then Smith like that cannot be that fun. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's absolutely <laughs> thing. Like it is, uh, you know, going into camp, um, you can just see the battles. You know, every single day, it's you know AJ and Slay, and then it's you know we got our front versus our O line and uh, Miles and Jalen. It's 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 a scary, it's a scary thing. At practice, we love to compete. So Coach Sirianni does a good job of, of having us just compete in everything, whether it's shooting baskets, you know, in, in our team meeting and um or playing ping pong to like three points and see who wins for the day it's uh it's a competitive group and that's helped us a lot who is the michael jordan of ping pong in that locker room and say who the best at ping pong definitely not jake elliott jake elliott, or isaac. Isaac. Jake elliott times 10. isaac isaac's pretty f you know what i'm gonna go with jake that boy jake good at everything okay so there's this is a pretty serious thing in, in our locker room um <laughs> It, it, it's pretty real. Uh, so, so Jake Elliott, I would say, is the top. And really? Yeah. Again, there, there's probably not. You know, fun fact about Jake is, you know, he played tennis in, in college. So I don't. I, and he's a amazing golfer. Like I don't really don't know what he's bad at. Illinois uh, boy. He, yeah, Illinois boy. Exactly. He's uh, he's probably the top. And then um, I would say Isaac Samalu, which is crazy. You won't admit it, but Isaac's the best. How athletic this dude is on the ping pong table and how he moves and maneuvers. It's a uh, it's it's real. So I would say probably those two at the top, and I'm I'm somewhere in top five. You know, I'm, I'm in there somewhere, but uh, we got to get our power rankings together to get an official list. What's how Sirianni at, at ping pong? He's I actually have never seen him play ping pong. I've seen it. He shoots all the time, so he shoots basketball. The guys he can shoot. He's he's like a mid range guy. I wouldn't say he's like a, he's like a three ball threat at all. Um, but he's uh, he's a you know good fundamentals, all that type which is perfect for his personality, no doubt. Let's make sure we understand what our motivation is, and that's everybody in the room. We're in the for each other. Keep connecting, keep growing, keep going together. Um, when you get a guy, I feel like whether they're good or bad, but he comes in with the, with the same mindset, the same um, messages of what he truly believes, it's easy to follow someone like that. And, um, you know, he's, a, he's an emotional guy, just like the rest of us. You know, we, you know this game is a, it's a crazy game, as you know. So yeah. having a guy who's our leader and, um, willing to get emotional with us and you know fight for us it uh is a guy that everyone has his respect for sure we do get the giants this week now listen y'all held this machine named saquon barkley to 28 yards on the ground how did you do that yeah it's uh it's a team effort i mean i think you see him you know weekly just against a lot of teams just doing what he does and you know i think that's why he was so you know highly touted coming out and um, I played against him when he was at Penn State in the Big Ten Championship, so I've known about him for, for quite some time. And He looks uh, like that guy, though, right now. He looks like yeah. Penn State Saquon. No, he does. He does. You can you can see. I mean, his burst is, is I feel like, unmatched. And 
um, how, how well he balances in the, in the hole and it takes all 11 to, to contain that guy. I mean, Miles Sanders is probably excited too. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my guy too. So, you know, two Penn State boys going at it again. So it'll be good. That's big of you, Wisconsin boy, being so nice to them. Uh, listen to It's this. only because they beat us. So it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> you started out hot this season, 13-1. and one. Now there's some injuries, Jalen Hurts, Lane Johnson. What do you want to say to anybody out there who might be starting to doubt this Philly team? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we've, we've been through a lot this year and, you know, ups and downs and um, we've won close games. We've, we've lost close games. And I feel like we've trying to, we've, we finally kind of figured out who we are and, you know, yeah. our best football is still yet to come, which is, you know, the most exciting part. And also um, knowing that we, we need that right now, which I'm confident we'll bring for sure. Do y'all still have that back cape? Is that still happening or is that old news? I, that was, you know, that was a little early on. It fell um, off. I, I'm sure I'm sure it's still in there. You know, I think there was one game where both, uh, you know, Smitty, Quez and AJ all came out of the tunnel together, you know, wearing the, the Batmans and, and all that stuff. So I and think then Jason Kelsey off. said that he wants to be the fat Batman or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a picture with him with the full mask on and, and all that stuff, you know, shirt up, belly out. So it's uh, it's still relevant. You guys are heavy favorites. You're at home. You've beaten this Giants team twice. I hate division matchups in the playoffs. What makes division games so tough? Everyone knows each other. You know, we played against each other twice. And um, so we know personnel. We understand kind of how they like to play games and how they like to uh, maneuver their offense and, and things like that. So there's going to be some, <laughs> some Giants fans there if, uh, if some of the Philly fans let them. But it'll be, uh, it's going to be a crazy environment. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped about it. Why does your face, why does that smile happen when you say Philly's going to be crazy? You talk about Philly and what that place is like a lot. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's absolutely incredible environment. Whether we're home or away, honestly, just the, the games that we've been to, you know, away and we've had, you know, the amount of cheers and that they've just taken over stadiums and now you get them at home at night on a, on a Saturday. Um, can sleep in on Sunday, so they will be uh, absolutely ready to go. And go work on your ping pong game after off-season <laughs> off thing to work exactly, on. Exactly. exactly. Quickly tell Eagles fans how much you love them and how much you need them this weekend. I'm sure they already know. You know, they'll, they'll be there rocking, screaming, um, horns going, who knows what. You know, I'm sure there'll be some Batmans in the crowd as well. So it's going to be an uh, amazing time, and I absolutely can't wait. And a fat Batman named Jason Cullen. And a fat Thank Batman. You, TJ. Yeah. Thank you. Thank I'm sorry. You. All pro TJ Edwards. Ah, there we go. It sounds a little different. I like it, though. I like it. <laughs> thank you so much. Good luck, okay? Yeah, thank you. It was really nice talking to you. Enjoy it. it. You too. You too.